Good afternoon, everybody. It's your health and fitness specialist, Kelly Brown, a.k.a. Natural Bodybuilder Kelly Brown, a.k.a. whatever you want to call me. I was actually doing some, some research on another subject one day recently, and I came across something. I was looking at um, mutual funds and, and how mutual funds work and just somebody having a conversation about mutual funds and the ins and outs of them. Anyway, it was interesting how uh, the guy responded to a question that had come in. The question was, um, where do I find the most information about mutual funds and where do I get all the details and get real in-depth about how mutual funds work? And um, the person who was doing the video, his response pretty much was like, well, why do you need to know all of that? You know? And it was interesting what he broke down. And when he broke it down, I kind of was able to relate it to fitness and bodybuilding. So. I kind of spun it in my own words, but I want to give you the gist of what he was saying and how we can make it relate to, to the field that we're all in, which is bodybuilding and fitness. Okay, So the topic today is called the paralysis of the analysis. All right. And this is going to hit home. So his point was the vast majority of the progress you make is because you actually do something. So you have to actually start in order to make progress. You can't make progress by just researching and you can't just make progress by, you know, doing all your analyzing and metrics and all this other stuff. You can't make progress like that. You got to actually do something to start, right? So if we're relating this to fitness, you got to exercise consistently and efficiently in order to progress. So the next point he made was that a lot of people have a lot of theory, okay? Theory, nothing proven, just theory they get paralysis of the analysis because they get overwhelmed with all this theory that they never actually do anything all they do is talk about it all they do is say what works and what doesn't work and critique other people but never actually go out there and do it themselves don't don't be one of those nerds who's out here talking about macros and micros and tdees and bmis and ffmis and who's natural and who's not natural and all this other stuff listen just pick something and stick to it see if it works if it don't work okay move on if it works stay with it don't remix it don't try nothing different find something that works for you and stay with it that's it that's that's the the golden ticket all right everybody's going to have a different body everybody's going to have different genes different genetics of course everybody's going to have a different body type endomorph ectomorph mesomorph everybody needs something that works for them i found my golden ticket all you got to do is just try different stuff. I've tried a multitude of things before, before I found what actually worked for me. Okay. All you got to do is, and it's going to be hard. It's going to be a journey, but you have to get started in order to even get started on a journey. You can't get to the, you can't get to the, the tip of the mountain if you don't start climbing. Okay. So start, try something, stick to it and see what happens. If something ain't working, if something ain't working, okay, try something else, but let it, give it a chance see if it works stick with it you know let it prove itself if it's if it's flawed it's flawed if it's perfect it's perfect and stay with it for as long as you and as long as you can before you start hitting the plateau okay and so you know f for you guys out here who are new or who've been exercising for a while and you've been watching somebody or you follow someone um, who's giving fitness advice or advice on how to become healthy or whatever you got to look at the person that you're getting advice from okay is the person you're getting advice from somebody who's credible and if it's not a credible source just take it with a grain of salt not saying that they're wrong but listen to their theory listen to their opinion and maybe test it out in yourself and test it out for a while if you see that it's effective then it's effective but don't don't uh, count something something else out that may actually work as well because you feel like um, this theory is the truth and it's not necessarily the truth okay everything doesn't have to be science and proven and all this other stuff it doesn't have to be like that okay if they say this is what made me great okay try it that's fine all right but try that one don't be looking at everybody's different workout plans and everybody's different diets and exercise plans and trying to, to make your own version and and doing all this other stuff and then once there's so much information you're overwhelmed that you never get started anyway and the last note that I wrote down is sometimes you get so caught up in what he said or she said and everybody's research and opinions but guess what there's more than one way to do something so there's more than one way a lot of things work 
You don't have to just stick to one way to do something, all right? Hey, that's my two cents on the paralysis of the analysis. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, okay? Don't be a nerd, all right? Don't be one of these guys out here talking about what works and what don't work and you looking like nothing, you know? If you look amazing, talk to me. If you don't look amazing, you, you don't have nothing to prove for it or, or whatever, listen, you know, keep your opinions and, and your, your, your whatever you think are facts and your theories, keep all that stuff to yourself, okay? Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to download your eBooks. The link is in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.